So, a lot of single women are turning to the app called Abide um, to get through their times of singleness. I want to share with you what I feel about, about the app, about what it does. So if you're interested, stay tuned. What's up everybody? So I'm here to talk to you about the app called Abide. It's a Christian app. And lately I have, um, I've learned that a lot of Christian single women are using it. And so I decided to talk to y'all about my thoughts about this app. And although it is a Christian based app, a lot of different religious um, people or di people from different religions are using this app. Um, Christians, Muslims, different different religious organizations, single people are using this app. And so I'm not, you know, I don't want you to think I'm endorsing this app or saying that you all should go out and get it or I'm not bashing it at all. I just want to give you my thoughts on why I feel like if you did download this app, how it can benefit your life and benefit you by giving you the discipline you need to, you know, just quiet yourself and be you know, just be still before the Lord. And I feel like that quiet time with the Lord is very important, whether, um, you know, and whether or not you're doing that um, is important. And, and I think that a lot of people weren't doing it. And so they decided to download this app. But I want to tell you just a little bit about the app. And then I want to go into why um, I think there's some benefit if you do decide to get this app so me personally I do not have the app but I did do a little bit of research just to see exactly what it was all about and so this is like I said it's a Christian based um, meditation app it was created by people for for people to connect with God and also feel like they're not alone that they're in like a virtual prayer group so you can request prayer and then there's other people that uh, will record their prayers and so you can hear other people praying and so you just don't feel um, alone you feel like you're part of a group and so um, for that reason I think it's pretty cool you know um, you feel like other you know when you request prayer you, you feel like other people are praying for you and so you feel like you're part of a community so I mean that's pretty cool right the part that I really wanted to bring out is um, it allows you just to really kind of set aside time for um, for prayer and meditation and I just feel like for any believer that that is super super important for you to do that um, a time to set aside to have a conversation with God and a conversation meaning you're talking and then you're listening to what he has to say and so I feel like so many of us don't take the time to actually listen to what God has to say to us because we're so busy talking and telling them, telling God everything we need and complaining or whatever it is that that we've gotten in the habit of doing. So if you are just being still and allowing God to talk to you, I think that is super, super important, especially um, benefiting to your relationship with him. So a time of reflection is super, super powerful. I oftentimes take a time to really, really kind of reflect um at different milestones in my life, um, different seasons in my life, um, and this, this time of reflection um, is very, very empowering. So I want to share with you the first way um, that it, it is empowering and for me. Uh, a lot of times, again, when I take the time to appreciate what the things that I'm good at, the things that I've done well, um, it really just helps you know brighten my mood like okay god i'm using the things that you've given me and it's turning out pretty good so you know it, it makes me feel very good it makes me thankful and grateful for um you know the strides in life that i'm taking the other part is it provides self-awareness so we all know that we have room for improvement we have that room in all of our lives where we can improve and so without the noise of criticism and self criticism and self um you know, self-deflating behaviors, we can actually become aware of where we can improve and create a plan on, you know, how we're going to do better um, in that area of our lives. So having that quiet time, again, allows you the opportunity to, you know, make some self-adjustments. Um, and then also, of course, learn from your mistakes. 
And then the third thing is it gives you perspective. So during the hustle and bustle of life, a lot of times we lose perspective and we um, spend a whole lot of time on things that really, really don't matter. And we stress out over things in life that just really don't matter. And so we gain perspective, um, you know, of what really matters. And again, I just kind of want to go back to um, in the hustle and bustle of life. I mean, life at this in this uh, time of our lives, or just in this, I don't know, this time in life generally, um, it seems like it just moves so fast, so fast. I mean, we're always constantly running, and I'm like, I don't know how they made it in in life, you know in back when we didn't have technology or things that allowed us to do a lot um, during the day. But even though our life is so fast paced these days, we still lose sight of what really matters. And so that's why we have so many broken relationships and divorce and broken homes and families because we lose sight of what really matters. So when we actually take the time and discipline ourselves to quiet ourselves before the Lord, we can listen for his direction and again, get perspective on what really matters. If you decide that you wanna download this app, um, you know, like I said, use it for the opportunity to discipline yourself to make sure that you're scheduling in your busy day an opportunity to have a conversation with the Lord every single day so that you can not only get things off your chest that you need to with Him, but you can also sit and listen to what He has to say because He's going to direct your path, and I'm going to tell you and guarantee that if you walk down the path that he has chosen for you, you will be a winner in life. So it's your girl Chanel. I love you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to y'all soon.